What's going on everyone, Steven here for Hey Techie back again. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. But if you're new here, Hey Techie is interested in all things smart home. On this channel, we look at the latest and greatest smart home devices that can be integrated with an Apple setup, as well as showing you how to get the most out of your existing purchases. Now, if that sounds like your kind of thing, make sure you go ahead right now and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our awesome content. Today's video follows in the vein of a previous video on Thread Protocol. It's clear that for a lot of folk out there, the terminology behind smart home products can be really quite confusing, so this video is here to try and help clear some things up. Breaking news yesterday on the 11th of May was the announcement of a new kind of smart home home protocol called Matter. So what is this, and if you'll excuse the pun, why does it matter? Stay tuned to find out. Before we get down to breaking down the most recent news, a name you might already be familiar with was also rebranded as well yesterday too. The Zigbee Alliance has, up until now, been the benchmark standard for integration for most smart home products. For example, you may have noticed the little red logo on the side of some of your smart home products, like the IKEA Home Smart light bulbs, for example. Now, the organisation behind the Zigbee protocol has now rebranded itself as the rather grandiose sounding the Connectivity Standards Alliance which includes companies like Apple, Google, and Amazon. The CSA's main objective is to broaden the scope of the old Zigbee Alliance by incorporating even more manufacturers and smart home developers to work within their supported framework so that more and more smart home products seamlessly work together. Now, we've all been there. Unless you want to do some coding or basically come up with some kind of awkward workaround, Apple HomeKit users cannot purchase and install some devices. Take for example, Ring doorbells, probably the most popular model of camera doorbell on the market today. The idea of establishing a protocol that all smart home devices can use, especially those that can be integrated with Apple, Amazon and Google, has been the dream for a while now. Back before the pandemic in December 2019, those big three announced their intentions to work together to make this new standard a reality. And that brings us to the topic of today's video, matter. Yesterday, the fruit of these labors appeared to be about to ripen with the announcement of the matter protocol. Matter is designed to work right across the smart home ecosystem, allowing users of the big three to be able to buy and integrate all supported products into their smart home, no matter what voice assistant they choose to use. Matter uses a combination of Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Thread, and Bluetooth Low Energy to connect devices to one another. And ultimately, its function is to standardise how gadgets identify themselves to the smart home network and what they can do together. Currently, if you have a dozen devices connected to your network with the same or similar antennas, they might not have the software to sync up with one another. So this is how we end up with a range of devices that just can't work together. Matter ultimately aims to end this, establishing one clear protocol for all smart home accessories to follow. Now the idea hasn't come out of nowhere. Up until yesterday, the plan to make this a reality for smart homes was known as Project Chip. Chip meaning connected home over IP. But that's not quite as catchy. For the more technical among us, Matter works by creating an IP-based interoperability layer between devices at the application layer. And that's different to what we have now, as most smart home devices that exist today, like those that support Zigbee, currently operate at the networking layer instead. Now, when Matter is released, it will be, initially at least, limited to a select number of devices until Matter is scaled up in full. But those devices that will get early access to adoption include smart lights, blinds, televisions, access controls, safety and security products like cameras, smart home controllers, and bridges. 
From the publication image released by Matter, the design looks very Apple-esque. The printed digits on the side of the bulb look very similar to what we already see on HomeKit devices. So, in a future update, we'll probably see Apple Home support the syncing process for that within the app. There are also suggestions that they could also use QR codes as well. The detection features can already highlight the rectangular shape on the Apple Home app, so it just seems to be a matter of adding in recognition software for Matter-enabled products. The hope is that this will, for want of a better word, just work. And it should, at least in theory, take all of the hard work out of building your own smart home. Those behind Matter have very high hopes for it, and want to establish it as the new symbol of connectivity, making this symbol just as recognisable as the Wi-Fi one. So what will all of this mean for our smart homes? Well, it looks like devices supporting Matter will be going on sale very, very soon, even by the end of 2021, in fact. Whether these early devices will work with Apple, though, is currently unclear. According to Business Wire, Apple is not amongst the members of the CSA poised to be an early adopter of the technology. Now, this might sound bad for HomeKit enthusiasts, but not all is lost. If you think about it, Apple doesn't really make its own smart home products, but sells smart home devices from very select suppliers like Nanoleaf and Eve, and they are on the early adopters list. So we might see Apple smart homes integrated with Matter from the very off. Matter should also work alongside Thread, which is already on board the HomePod Mini, released late last year, and in the new Apple TV 4K edition, which Apple announced at their April event this year. Even more importantly, some companies are making noises to show that existing customers won't miss out on this latest development. George Yanni, at the head of the technology department at Philips Hue, tweeted that Hue intend to bring the existing Hue devices in your home into the fold with an over-the-air update to the Hue bridge, which is already connected to your internet router. Whilst nothing will change with your bulbs themselves, having access to matter via the hub will offer an enhanced functionality without having to replace your existing hardware. This also means that there will be less electrical wastage overall, as customers can easily transition from one smart home assistant to another with ease, no longer having to rebuy all new gadgets if they wanted to change their smart home assistant. And I can say from personal experience, that would have saved me a lot of time and money. All being well, Matter represents the opportunity to free customers from being trapped within a single ecosystem of products and allow developers to create products, whether you use Apple, Google, Amazon, or even a combination of them all. So there you have it then, Matter does really sound like it's going to matter a lot to the smart home, and it looks on course to become a household name very soon. What do you think about it? Does this change matter to you? Are you excited for what this means for the smart home of tomorrow? Let me know in the comments down below. Here at Hey Techie, we're constantly growing and expanding, so don't forget to subscribe to us if you haven't done so already. We're also now on Facebook as well as Instagram, so if that's your social media of choice, why not come over and say hello to us there too. Remember to join in our Friday poll where you get to choose the content of our next video, and you can check that out on Instagram. Until next time then, I've been Steven for Hey Techie.